All right, so at this point, I'm going to be cleaning the engine bay up. I'm going to remove the condenser here and some of the lines. I'm going to get rid of some of the useless wiring that I'm not going to need no more. I'm going to clean the bay up, uh, remove those old mounts, make sure to degrease everything, and have a clean working slate so then I could start picking up this motor and putting it in. I'm probably going to have to remove the shift, the shift linkage there. Alright, so I want to show you the differences in length. I can't do the height right now because this one's on a crate, but I have the cranks roughly the same, uh, a little bit, maybe this one could go a little bit forward more. They're roughly the same. And then look at the, the back ends of the transmissions. They are so close, like as if I could almost use the original drive shaft. But the K24 is a bit longer. I would say about six inches from just staring at it right now. But at this time I have gotten this front end off. Still have to finish cleaning. There's a lot of a lot of grease and debris caked on. Everything is out the way for me to start taking that motor and trying to put it in and make my own mounts. I did mention that I have the S2000 mounts hooked up to this K24, but they're not gonna work now. They're almost they're actually like at the same distance as that one and, and this one, sort of. So I don't think I'll have too much difficulty of making these, try to make these sit on this subframe. I might have to notch this, um, but I'm not gonna notch, start notching it until I have it in there. Still have to get rid of that speedometer cable from the inside. But once the mountain's done, I have to, I'll take the motor back out and then I'll start prepping this engine bay so I can paint it and make it look nice. All right, well, this is where I'm at. Just got it to this position here all by myself. Um, so far it's going in easily. Probably gonna have to take the shifter off. I just suspect that. Yes, there are problems. Problem number one is that the engine is too high. I need to lower it in order to slide it back. I need to slide it back about three more inches. And in order to do that, I have to lower the subframe because the oil pan is already on the subframe. So to here is about six inches. I need to reduce that by a half. So I need to bring this back three more inches. If I do that, then the shifter should line up and I need to go down about two inches. Even though this, this hood bar is an example, I'm about, it needs about seven inches to go. Hold on. So, yeah, about three inches to go down. So that means this subframe has to go down three inches, which will be extremely hard. Then I might be able to get that clearance in here because obviously the uh, steering rack is dead center of the oil pan. So, I'm not going to do anything with that. 
So, if I drop this up for any two inches, I should be able to push that motor back. I know that might look the same, but there is actually a lot of progress that was just done. As you can see, we are about a couple inches away from the firewall. I don't have much clearance there. I might have to bash this up a little bit. Hopefully it'll come up. I did unbolt the subframe, so it's about one inch lowered. Um, the motor is resting on top, but the important part is that it's it's matching up to where hopefully I could get the shifter back in and get this one exactly there. Another funny part is the drive shaft is pretty much where the old one was. So Look at this. Get some bolts. Put that together. Now obviously the flange is different, so but I'm just saying. We are off the subframe here. So we are just on the rack. So if I lower the subframe. Start making my mounts. Then this whole project is doable. Um, as you can see, I did cut this. And then I'm going to make it off of this. Now this one. This one I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, it is not lined up with the subframe, so... I'll figure something different out for this one. Next step would be to make sure that subframe is secured and away from the motor. And then what I could do is bash this back in to give me like an inch. And then build my mount so it's hovering over the subframe and the steering rack. But so far not too bad. I think we're going to make this happen. Alright, I don't know what I did. But I ended up getting more clearance there. So I don't think I need to uh, bang that in no more. And in here... I, uh, where's my light? I installed the shifter back. So I got the pedal in, and the shifter is installed. The rubber grommet fits pretty good. So, and funny that the drive shafts. Are perfectly uh, together up there. Look at that. If the pattern was the same, all I would have to do is just make this mount, make those two mounts, and that's it. But I need to uh, make spacers for the subframe. Thinking about using this uh, piece of aluminum. And creating uh, two spacers and then buying longer bolts for that because if I have a spacer here that's an inch then I'll be fine raise the motor up so it's hovering over the subframe and then uh, I'll be fine so all right quick update so disconnected the hoist at this point, the engine is within the correct position that I believe will work the best. It is center lined. 
and it's hovering on one inch or I think that's three quarter inch pieces of wood on the subframe so this way I have the correct spacing the correct spacing between that it's gonna be great there and underneath I have this place grip on the flange here but this is uh this is all centered and have it support on the jack so the jack stand there so now I have to I'm gonna work back here first get this mount done so I'm going I want to attach the mounts to the subframe this won't work I thought I was going to make it work, and I thought I was going to get lucky and just weld that there, but it doesn't work. It's too short. I could extend this leg and mount it to the subframe, I mean to the, the, the body of the car here. But I think it's best if I mount the motor to the subframe. This way, I could pick up the subframe. Oh, and I made spacers, by the way. So there's a spacer underneath the subframe. Inch and a third, there and there. I used some wheel spacers, cut them in half, and uh, drilled a hole here and here, and then these are the spacers. So, if I mount the engine to the subframe, I could put this, the subframe back where it was. At this point, I can't do that because I am actually hitting the firewall back there. So, instead of taking the engine out twice, this is the first time it's still here. This way, once I build this to the subframe, I build that rear one, I could take the engine out, I could bash that firewall in a bit and then see if I could get rid of my spacers if I don't uh, bash the firewall then I have to leave those spacers but I'm going to try to remove the spacers as if it's back to the original way so I'm going to start working on the mounts and I'll show you them next